Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So today, I'm staying local here in the Galveston area. As you can see, it is pretty kind of nasty out here. We got a lot of fog. The sun should be up by now, but this fog is so dense that you know, there's no sunshine. But anyways, I'm really happy to be out here to enjoy. Look at this, God's creation. Look how beautiful it is. No one for miles except when I pulled up someone was here at this new spot that I'm trying to explore. But anyways, targeted species is going to be redfish and flounder. We're going to be going to the back lakes. I think it's going to be really, really shallow push-pull applications most likely, but we'll see what happens. Going to be using a wide variety of lures and quick, quick shout out to Shop Carl's Skelly Swim Salt Native Lures that are sponsoring this video today. If you guys don't know what Salt Native is, it's a saltwater design lure made by Ketchco. It is a paddle tail that I use majority on my channel. There's a direct link in the description box below. Use my discount code RxLinger10, say $10 off your orders of $25 or more. But yeah, new spot, redfish, sight cast, possibly shallow water, deep, soft mud. Hopefully we don't get ourselves in trouble. All right, here we go, launching super shallow water, but this is the only way to get to the back marsh. So we'll see how this one <laughs> ends up going. Super shallow, man. I hope the tide doesn't go out much further than it is right now, meaning it doesn't get lower than this, because I am going to be in complete SOL if that happens. Might have to just call my wife to come pick me up at a different look. <laughs> oh yeah, can you imagine that? Hey, uh, hey honey, can you, uh, Come and pick me up at a different location. I got kind of stuck. I can just hear her call me idiot. I'm hoping this new spot does pay off. Lots of marsh grass. Local here in Galveston. I can't complain. That's uh, and uh, even though I did meet another gentleman here, uh, I mean, I don't think really many people know about this spot. I don't think really anyone fishes this spot, even though I saw that gentleman here. Yeah, I was here before him. <laughs> Granted, so we'll see what happens. So we're gonna make sure we got 1.9 feet deep right here. One and a half. We can go ahead and put our pedal driver. Super foggy morning. I can't even see anything, man. Visibility probably maybe at best 60 yards if I'm lucky. Tide is out. Hopefully it's coming back in, so I don't get stuck out here. But anyways, let's go and start tossing. Right, we're gonna be using the skelly swim first. See if we can catch a nice donkey or a couple keepers rather on this little paddle tail here. This right here is the root beer. I think there's a lot of oyster underneath me. It feels like it. Yeah, oyster mud. Usually a good formula for flounder and, and uh, redfish. I'm gonna fish this shoreline right here, this grass line. This is my structure, so maybe something's hanging around this area. Here's an entrance to one of the marshes I want to check out. Let's see what's in there. It's a really small marsh, so I don't think I'm going to spend too much time just kind of blind cast and see if I can hear any bluffs or look for some wakes. Definitely a lot of bait in this entrance. Something's being flushed out. Yep, I'm hitting bait. Oh wow, okay. Well, there is my first fish. <laughs> Right at this entrance. Small red? Yep, small red. That's what I thought. Right at this entrance of this marsh. The skelly swim getting it done on that root beer. It's a good start. I'll take it. New spot. Not expecting much. There we go. There we go. Another one. This one has a little bit of pull on them, but I think it's going to be another dink. Yeah, they are here, small guys, but you know, I'm not going to complain too much. All right, dude, hold on, chill out, chill out. Usually, I uh, weed through these small guys to get to the big one. And he's not that, that small, definitely a Louisiana slot. He'd be a keeper in Louisiana. 
Yeah, nice. <laughs> Just kind of blind casting this middle of this entrance of this marsh and got thumped twice or caught two small reds off the bat. Just need to look for the bigger ones. Holy crap, water clarity is really good. Dang, that's clean and it's like foggy. There's no sun. I can still see the bottom. There we go. Oh my gosh. That felt like a flounder. Right this this drain right here and it just drops to two two to three feet. It's like six inches, drops to two to three feet. That felt like a flounder. Well, Nick, you're an idiot. Man, what did I get myself into? All right, so I might have not timed this too well. I, <laughs> man, that's what I get for misreading the tide charts. I always think there's a delay or lag, but it looks like this is right on time for the buoy that's not even near this area. So that's crazy. I mean, it's super low. Gosh, I would say about a foot and a half, just judging by the roots, the grass line, or the, the watermark on the, uh, the grass line there. It's gonna be tough, man. I wanted to get back in this marsh that's pretty much up here on my right. I mean, it's just a huge, huge maze of marshes. Maybe that's not gonna happen, man, because I think maybe the water already all drained out. So what do I do? What do I need to do? I need to just blind cast and see if I can find any redfish just cruising this channel, this line, and hopefully I'll get lucky and catch one keeper, maybe two keepers. And uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. Heck, I'll be I'll be pretty happy with one keeper, honestly. Just to be out here and enjoy myself. I mean, this is what it's all about, people. And that looks like something right there. Okay, good to know there's oyster right here. Oyster right there. Super shallow up. That's, that's the marsh. There's no way I can get in there, man. There's birds standing right in the middle of the channel. Oh my gosh, what was that? Not even paying attention. Something bit my line there. Come on, Nick, pay attention. Could have been a flounder. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Dude, are these reds here? Wow, what's all that? Okay, I mean it could have been mullet. I don't see a hard wake or anything, but just a bunch of mud clouds, huh? It's gotta be a mullet, man. It's gotta be a big mullet. Oh my gosh, big red, right there. Look, it's too late. I knew there was redfish here. Definitely spooked that one. That was a big one too. I knew they're back here. I'm... Yeah, in order to catch these reds, I just gotta be super lucky and be able to see one before he sees me and you know had the opportunity. There, there's a red right there. It could be a flounder. Opportunistic um, distance to cast my line so he doesn't see me. <laughs> there's a lot of calculations and things that go into sight casting that people just really take uh, take granted for, you know what I mean? Look at that, look at that red right there. Good, that's a big one. Where are you going, buddy? Come back here. Okay, so we're getting a little bit deeper in this marsh. We've run into two already. It's just how am I going to catch them? That's the question. The crazy thing is they're not, they're not active. They're not feeding actively. 
they're not tailing doing the redfish stuff they're just kind of sitting slowly dragging their bottom or belly across that mud it looks like and the water is shallow enough where you know if they swim a little bit maybe a couple inches more on top you can see their fins through the water oh there's another one right there See, look, they're just sitting in the mud. And the water's like shallow, too shallow where I can't use my pedal drive to go anywhere and just kind of blind cast. Another one right there. Goodness gracious. What am I gonna do? I need to start blind casting at work because, man, they're here. I just need to figure out how to fish hands free, you know what I mean? we go we got him yes sir i saw i heard a blow up up there earlier i thought it was just a duck but no got the red we got him yeah he's gonna be a keeper <laughs> completely lucky there i guess i kind of say i sight casted him in a way blind sight casted hybrid <laughs> i am happy that's what i wanted slot redfish oh yeah he's gonna be a good size one Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. We got you. We got you. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that croaker stud. <laughs> As I stated, man, I, uh, I saw him right over there. I saw a nice wake and I was kind of putting my positioning myself where I could sit down and blind cast. And lucky enough, I crossed his path with the skelly swim root beer. Beautiful fish right there. He's probably about 22 maybe 23 inches but nonetheless really happy i caught the first slot red and they're all back here man they're it's just it, i wish there was sunshine i wish it was absolutely dead calm i can sight cast and i would have caught probably a double limit already uh well okay i'm over exaggerating maybe at least two or three slot reds but yeah super happy thank you for being a good sport you keep on croaking and uh don't take my bogo grip here get out of here there she goes there she goes so yeah new new spot paying off uh really happy i'm gonna come back here because this spot was so easy to get to well not okay let me take that back it wasn't that easy to get to but uh the launch the potential oyster shallow water marsh and this is right in the back and in, in the backyard of houston 